Neither the firefighter EMT nor the bystander were seriously wounded, but the chief revealed the shooting came just as the department is preparing to issue a new directive, making it clear that firefighter EMT should not go into certain situations without police to secure the scene first. And as assaults and calls for police help from firefighters EMTs are on the rise. Here's DC's acting fire EMT chief John Donnelly. We go out and help people and we don't expect to be shot at. We expect to at least be welcome to help people. And when you're shot at, that changes the dynamics a little bit. Our people are brave. They're going to continue to go help people. They're service oriented. That's what they do. Yesterday's shooting happened as fire EMTs and police were tending to a shooting victim at a 7-Eleven on South Capitol Street and MLK Boulevard Southeast. Engine 25, all units, move yourself from the scene now. On a radio call, firefighter EMTs were told to clear the area when gunfire broke out again, grazing a firefighter EMT in the leg and hitting an innocent bystander in the hand. Police said the shooting appeared to have come from nearby Halley Terrace. Authorities said it was unclear who the target of the shooting was. But the incident happened as threats of violence against firefighter paramedics has increased with 22 injured in assault since December of 2018. Firefighter EMT calls for police help have jumped from roughly 40 in 2019 to roughly 60 this year, according to a department spokesman. We've seen an uptick in these calls since the beginning of COVID. That also mirrors a national trend. I think all the dynamics that are going on in our community are, are probably creating some stresses. Dolly said the shooting came just as the department is preparing to release new written policies directing firefighter EMTs to wait until they have police to secure an area in certain threatening situations. This still happens. This is one of those things I don't think we can policy our way out of. The scene was secured by police and the police were on the scene when the shooting started. I mean, this person that shot at them was very bold. Donnelly said this incident will not affect service in the district. He said firefighter EMTs will always respond to calls for help. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.